Hi everyone, welcome back. SpaceX's Starship spacecraft successfully launched on its third test flight on March 14th, marking significant progress compared to its previous attempts. The liftoff, delayed by about an hour and a half due to nearby ships, encountered no technical issues. The Super Heavy Booster, equipped with 33 Raptor engines, fired for nearly three minutes before initiating hot staking, separating from the Starship upper stage. Unfortunately, the booster's landing attempt in the Gulf of Mexico didn't go as planned, resulting in it breaking apart above the ocean. Despite this setback, the Starship upper stage completed its burn, reaching its intended suborbital trajectory. During its time in space, SpaceX demonstrated the opening of a payload bay door and conducted a propellant transfer demonstration for NASA. Although a planned engine relight test was skipped due to vehicle roll rates, the spacecraft began re-entry with dramatic footage relayed through Starlink satellites. However, telemetry was lost during descent, leading to speculation about the vehicle's condition. Despite not achieving all objectives, SpaceX and NASA considered the flight a success, emphasizing the valuable data gained. The European Space Agency also praised SpaceX's efforts, highlighting collaboration between public and private sectors. The launch followed the issuance of an updated Federal Aviation Administration license, requiring additional environmental review due to trajectory changes. SpaceX's assessment anticipated the Starship's breakup upon splashdown in the Indian Ocean, with no plans for debris recovery. The altered trajectory allowed for crucial tests while minimizing public safety risks. This flight represents another step forward in Starship's development, with NASA's Human Landing System program eagerly awaiting its progress. The updated license from the Federal Aviation Administration was a crucial regulatory milestone achieved just before the launch. This came after SpaceX made changes to the vehicle's trajectory, opting for a splashdown in the Indian Ocean instead of near Hawaii. An environmental assessment conducted as part of the regulatory process revealed that SpaceX anticipated the Starship to break apart explosively upon splashdown. The assessment outlined the expected amount of propellants on board and the impact scenario upon splashdown. According to the assessment, the vehicle was projected to impact the Indian Ocean intact, leading to structural failure upon impact, followed by an explosive event. SpaceX did not plan to recover any debris and it was expected to sink to the seafloor. This different trajectory not only facilitated regulatory compliance, but also allowed SpaceX to conduct crucial tests without compromising public safety. The steeper suborbital trajectory enabled tests like the in-space firing of the Raptor engine, while minimizing the need for significant alterations in splashdown locations. Throughout this process, SpaceX and regulatory agencies have worked closely to ensure the safety and efficacy of Starship's development. The successful test flight underscores the collaborative efforts between the private and public sectors in advancing space exploration as SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of space travel. The insights gained from this flight will undoubtedly inform future developments and pave the way for more ambitious missions. With NASA and other space agencies closely monitoring progress, the future of Starship and its role in space exploration appears promising. SpaceX's Starship rocket, aimed at taking astronauts further into space than ever before, completed a significant portion of a test flight on its third attempt. Although it reached new heights, it unfortunately disintegrated upon re-entry to Earth. During the live broadcast of the flight, SpaceX reported a loss of communication with Starship as it re-entered the atmosphere at tremendous speed. This loss occurred simultaneously from two satellite systems. The spacecraft was nearing its planned splashdown in the Indian Ocean, following an hour-long journey from South Texas. Just before communication ceased, a high-definition video showed the spacecraft enveloped in a reddish glow due to the friction of re-entry. SpaceX later confirmed the loss of the spacecraft, signifying it had either burned up or broken apart during the intense re-entry process. The decision to skip one of the test flight's key objectives, reigniting one of Starship's engines while coasting in orbit, was not explained, though it is crucial for future success. Despite this setback, the completion of many of Starship's intended flight objectives marks progress in developing a spacecraft vital for SpaceX's satellite launch business and NASA's moon program. NASA's chief praised SpaceX for what he termed a successful test flight, acknowledging the company's significant role as its major client. SpaceX's president also hailed the test as an incredible day. The two-stage spacecraft, comprising the Starship, 
and its towering super heavy rocket booster launched from the Starbase launch site near Boca Chica Village in Texas. It reached altitudes of 145 miles, a considerable improvement over its previous attempts, which ended in explosions. SpaceX's approach, characterized by a high tolerance for risk, emphasizes pushing spacecraft to failure to refine improvements. Despite the setback, Thursday's flight achieved several engineering goals, including successful stage separation and various tests during spaceflight. However, it failed to demonstrate the return of the Super Heavy rocket to Earth, a key aspect of SpaceX's strategy for reusing launch boosters. SpaceX plans to conduct additional test flights this year, contingent upon regulatory approval. Each failure necessitates investigation and corrective action approval from the Federal Aviation Administration. Although Thursday's test was a step forward, Starship must undergo numerous demonstrations and missions to ensure its safety for human space travel. Elon Musk envisions Starship as a versatile spacecraft capable of lunar missions and eventually Mars colonization. Additionally, it is slated to replace SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket for commercial launches. NASA's Artemis program, aimed at returning astronauts to the moon, hinges on Starship's success. While NASA supports SpaceX's iterative testing approach, they are eager for faster progress to compete with China's lunar ambitions.